What is up guys, it's your boy Steve-O again. And I'm back with yet another video review. And today we're gonna talk about shoes and quads and you're probably looking at this like, you know, what's going on? This is not no like sneaker YouTube channel or whatever. But yeah, I'm, I just wanna talk about, you know, what I like to do. And I just wanted to put a little bit of twist on things and talk about how both communities are kind of the same and then they're kind of not. They have their differences. But I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the build right now. And as you can see, it looks a little bit different from my last review. I did paint it with these oil paints that I got from Walmart. And you can get them from Michaels and they, they got them everywhere. Uh, you can find them, they're not hard to find. But initially, I was just gonna paint it orange and that was it, I already had the canopy painted blue. But I took a look at this and I was like, hey, this kind of looks something like my Ultra Boost. And I looked at them and I was like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna put a white stripe on the bottom here and just have it kind of look like it. It looks pretty cool and I thought it was cool. So I did get a white oil paint and did a, did a line on there on the bottom. Uh, I kind of messed up so I did a little bit thicker, so I wanted to do it a little bit thinner initially. But yeah, I think it came out pretty nice. It, it really brings the build out and really highlights it. So, and it goes perfect with these motors as well, uh, which was I was really trying to do to get it to, you know, all come together. Yeah, we're gonna talk about shoes in this channel as well. Uh, yeah, I do like, to collect shoes I was collecting shoes before I got in you know to FPV and all that stuff and I was really heavily into it and you know not as much you know I still like shoes I still collect Jordans as well but back um back in the day you know Jordans were really really hard to get now you can get them off the shelf it's, they sit on shelves now so yeah now um, they're easier to get but this is the ultra boost right here and it's the asterisk so yeah um, really like this colorway and it's their Astros colorways too and you know I'm an Astros fan so yeah I just wanted to talk about the shoes you know and you know what how the communities on both sides are kind of kind of alike and kind of different so first of all the uh, the FPV community is really awesome you know I wouldn't be here today if uh, it wasn't for the you know, the micro quad, you know, community and brushless micro and all kind of, there's all kind of communities that you can go out and reach out to and people are just, you know, willing to like help you out, especially with the uh, brushless micro community. And yeah, at first I, I started off, I didn't even know how to build or anything like that. I was buying binder flies and, you know, I was scared about it. I didn't know what to do. I didn't, I didn't know where to solder to. I didn't know how to solder and just crazy so I just took to buying and flies for about a year and finally I got tired of you know buying these buying and flies or ready to flies and they weren't flying really good and I just went ahead and started building I just went for it and you know asked for help in the drone community and FPV community and you know they're ready eagerly to help you out and you know I got through it and once I started doing my first build I really got steered away from buying binder flies, but you know, now they fly a lot better now and they're not as bad as they used to be, but you can get a pretty good, decent binder fly or ready to fly now. Yeah, I started to build and you know, uh, my love for these things just got even, even more, even more so than, you know, with the shoe thing that I was doing before, you know, I got into quads I was really into the shoes and all that stuff so if I had to drop one today I would definitely drop shoes because even though I love them a lot you know quads you know flying FPV and all that stuff it's a way of releasing, releasing you know stress anything you got going on in your life you know you know it steers you away from that and puts you in a good place you know when you're flying you're in a different world so you know, and if you had never flown or if you're uh, not into FPV, I'm just telling you how it feels, you know, it, it 
it's a form of you know you know stress relief so and if you are into it you know what I'm talking about so yeah I'd like I said I wouldn't be here today if if it weren't for you know the community you know helping you out so it's a really great community um, I've met uh, different people you know chatted with different people and now that I got my YouTube channel up it's even more you know people are reaching out to me you know people that are new like you know new to building and stuff like that and want to start building you know they see my builds and they want to do it so it kind of reminds me when I first started getting into it and I was reaching out to other youtubers and I was trying to reach out for help and stuff like that so yeah I'm happy to give back to the community and that was some of the reason why I opened up the channel to give back and to you know show y'all guys what I like to fly and all that good stuff so yeah with back with the shoes uh, the community it's good it's I would say if I had to choose like I would rather be in the FPV community but like I said you just have to watch out with fakes and stuff like that with the sneaker community and you know it's gotten crazy where you know you know they're you know copying shoes or making fakes and all this stuff so and it's kind of the same thing that's happening in you know the, the drone community and stuff like that so FPV community so you know they're they're making parts and they're copying and cloning other frames and all this good stuff so I mean the same thing is kind of happening with the shoe community so that's been happening so you know especially with Jordans you don't really know if you're getting you know real or fake now so they look so good and they look pretty much authentic you pretty much have to have them on hand or look at a bunch of YouTube videos and look at versus videos versus fake and real you know stuff like that so you really got to be on your P's and Q's when you're buying shoes so that's why I mean I just would recommend you just buy from you know buy from the store because you know some of the resellers are even getting a hold of fakes and they don't even know it or maybe they do know it and they're just trying to get over people so it's happening both ways either way so yeah I can see both they're kind of kind of almost the same in that sense too so like you said you got people cloning frames you got people cloning you know motors and cloning names and all that stuff so yeah it it, it happens both i mean it's, it's expected so it's what's gonna happen so i mean i don't really get mad over that stuff so it's just it's just expected so it's either you know you stop making your frames or you know you don't want no one I mean you don't want no one cloning and just stop making it but then you know how are you gonna make money if you're not inventing stuff or whatever so yeah it's gonna happen like people are gonna try to like ride or bandwagon off your builds and stuff like that or copy your frames or stuff like that so yeah I just wanted to talk about both uh, you know stuff that I'm doing or or I used to do so yeah so right now I'm um, I'm flying and you know I'm more into the FPV stuff so I kind of shied away from the sneaker collecting and all that stuff and plus I don't, don't really have the money to really be buying shoes all the time so uh, I've been selling a lot of my shoes so a lot of my uh, sneaker collection to you know make uh, YouTube videos and buy builds and uh, buy parts for my builds and so that I can put out some content but yeah they're just uh, it's just something else that I, I like doing I just wanted to share and I wanted to kind of like compare the two so they're like I said they're they're both kind of the same but like I said I would rather be in FPV community so and because uh, because it's that awesome but that's it today about uh, this so yeah I just wanted to show off you know something different so yeah new to the channel so y'all guys if you like what you see you know come follow me and um, like and subscribe yeah with that I'm gonna be ended with the video with the flight of this uh, CS X with the pyro props and it really flies really nice with these props 
Um, yeah, but on with the video uh, footage. Um, FPV is life, and I'll see y'all guys on the next one.